Hello there, I'm Japa Sunka Sebagian Sababa Welcome to Bangga News bringing you the eye on the news for Thursday 26 August 2021 Access to critical information and better understanding about the new strain of coronavirus disease COVID-19 is pivotal during the current evolving outbreak Training can help limit the spread of misinformation and rumor among the public as well as support the medical professionals who manage patients at the front line The global WHO Health Emergencies program has been investing in learning and training opportunities to strengthen preparedness and real-time emergency response to the international outbreak. And has recently launched several informative training modules about COVID-19 on its platform in both English and Bahasa Indonesia. The course Infection Prevention and Control IPC for Novel Coronavirus COVID-19 is a three-part series providing preparedness information on how health facilities can respond to a case of COVID-19 including the correct IPC measures to ensure there is no further virus transmission to healthcare workers, other patients, and visitors in the facility. The modules consist of a mix of videos and downloadable presentation. A second training titled Health and Safety Briefing for Respiratory Disease eProtect provides a general introduction to acute respiratory infection and basic hygiene measures to protect against infection. The dual language courses are both tailored specifically to support healthcare workers and public health professionals to scale up activities for COVID-19. Since they released earlier this week, the Bahasa Indonesia version of the two health courses have already amassed more than 3,000 enrollment collectively. The free learning resources are available to anyone interested in COVID-19 on both WHO Indonesia's website and openwho.org. The free learning resources are available to anyone interested in COVID-19 on both WHO Indonesia's website and openwho.org. OpenWHO's open learning platform for emergencies. The OpenWHO platform was established three years ago to support emergency health scenarios where WHO needs to reach millions of people across the globe with real-time accessible learning materials. For the latest information on the coronavirus disease outbreak in Indonesia, visit the designated WHO Indonesia coronavirus disease COVID-19. That is the Bangga News for this Thursday. Thanks for watching. I'm Japa Sunda Sebagian Sababa. Have a great day.